used to shoot a lot of my blogs, um, the video blogs, like the whole first season, a lot of it was shot on the GoPro, the Hero 5, case in point, my hand. Um, because it was easy to carry around, I could always have it with me, it could go in my pocket, and the image quality and the sound quality really wasn't that bad. And I could take it into stores and stuff and not have to deal with people freaking out because there was a camera or anything like that. Using the GH5 is definitely upped the quality of footage and, and what I can do with the lens choices and everything like that. But for some people, you know, they they see the, the normal vloggers and they're like, oh, well, I got to get the Joby Gorilla Pod, you know, the, the, the bendy uh, arm thing and I got to get uh, Canon 1D or I got to get a GH5 or a Sony or this or that. And I got to be able to edit it and I got to do cool transitions and I got to do all this stuff and, and and I just want to be like, no, you really don't. Vlog is supposed to just be whatever it is that you want it to be about. And if you're not a professional videographer, photographer, then you probably shouldn't go drop a bunch of money on a bunch of gear. And that's okay. You know, it doesn't have to be shot in 4K and edited with anything beyond Windows Movie Maker, if they even still make that. Video vlogs are supposed to be what you want it to be and what part of your life and what you're doing, whether that's jet setting around the world or that's working at the coffee shop down the street make it about you and make it what you want to do be inspired by what you do because what you do might inspire somebody else to get into this or to get into something else or be creative with their life in some other aspect just be inspired to shoot whatever it is with whatever you have and make do and be just creative with it that's today's vlog and I'm gonna shoot the entire thing on the GoPro Hero 5 because I can, and we're gonna see what we can get. So, enjoy, thanks.